I'm the deeds. I'm trying to keep quiet. My wife's not feeling well. I think she has the flu upstairs. Uh, and so I'm probably going to get in trouble. So this is, I'm, I'm sacrificing my marital bliss to give you these awesome tips. You guys have... Well, good morning. Hey, guys, it's the Deed with another sales energizer tip of the day. I was uh, hanging out with a friend of mine. I get together towards the end of the year to just take, you know, talk about things, how the year go and things like that. Uh, very successful guy, big real estate mogul, all the things uh, started with nothing and got everything. And, and uh, this year I, we bought a, a you know bunch of the kids with us. Uh, the kids are graduating college now and so you know they're 22 23 24 and really starting with their life and so it's, it's a good idea to you know to meet other people outside their you know academic field or what have you and uh he gave them a bit of advice that i thought was just awesome and i it's something that you probably follow but you don't even realize it and he says man to do better in life what the first thing you have to do is just hang around more often with people that are better than you like seek out people that are better than you and try to just just glom off of them. Just find out what's going on. And and you have the ability to do it. How do I find these people? You know, what do I do? Well, I mean, that's what books are for. I mean, it's just that simple. Hey, you can hang out with Winston Churchill. If you think he was a cool dude, find out. I mean, amazing. By tw by 24, he's already written books and fought in, and fought in wars. I mean, just a monster. You could... You can learn from this. You can hang out from him. Um, I don't know if you've ever met this guy, David Meltzer. What a rock star. You got to check out Meltzer. I just know someone who uh, uh, started from nothing, built it all, lost it all, and got it back quickly and is still on the path. Just a good thing to go. And, and then, uh, you know, spread your wing. I, uh, you know, people, you know, where, where do you come up with jokes and stuff? I'm like an old time joke guy, like Henny Youngman. Just just read some of these old Bob Hope, Henny Youngman. Uh, you know uh, what? The, my mom's favorite was what was this guy's name? Danny Kay. I mean, it's just funny. Like old guys watch old Seinfeld stuff, and you know these these uh, comedians that go, they live in a different world. Their minds are just different. Unbelievably creative. They see things just. Uh, you know, slightly different. Uh, and you as a salesperson or you as, as someone out there in the business community, uh, that's how you can differentiate yourself. Look at this. I'm just going to pick a... These are terrible jokes. Let's go to page one. Uh, he will... Here, here you go. Here's one. Right? This is a typical joke, right? I mean, it's not a terrible thing, but it's a good throwaway to have. Uh, he willed his body to science. Science will be contesting the will. It's like an idiotic joke, but it's a throwaway. Even if you get a groan, you get something. Uh, you, people don't realize comedians are probably the smartest people out there. Um, they're able to assimilate information and be able to share their point of view that makes you laugh. That's big stuff right there. You, If you can you know, uh, get that gift and, and kind of implement that in your sales process, nothing will stop you. Learn from the masters, hang out with people that are better than you, and you will make this your best sales career ever. You're the best. I'm the deeds. I'm trying to keep quiet. My wife's not feeling well. I think she has the flu upstairs. Uh, and so I'm probably going to get in trouble. So this is, I'm, I'm sacrificing my marital bliss to give you these awesome tips. You guys have a great day. You're the best. I'm the Deej. Hit it hard today. Talk to you soon.